Hi everyone, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a <laughs> superhero. And the thing is, the superpower I'm trying to get this week is the power of sound. Have you ever seen the movie Back to the Future? It's one of my favorites. The DeLorean, the traveling through time, bolts of lightning, 1.21 gigawatts. I bet lots of scientists love that movie. My favorite scene is where Marty McFly plugs in his electric guitar to a huge speaker and the sound is so loud that it blows him backwards all the way across the room. Imagine having that superpower. I want to be able to use sound waves to push something all the way across the room. Now that would be cool. I thought maybe today we could try and make a guitar like Marty McFly and see what happens. Cool, eh? So if you want to rock out with me, here's what you're going to need. An empty tissue box, tape, a pencil, card, three elastic bands, scissors, and a ruler. Now I know that sound is made by vibrations which travel into our ears and that our ears act like funnels and trap the sound inside and that I can change the sound that I hear by changing the vibrations that I make. I think that I can use my super sound knowledge to make an awesome guitar. So guitars work by making sound waves bigger and louder. We call this amplification. And the big empty space in the middle of the guitar or the middle of our tissue box is what makes that amplification happen. So try this, take an empty tissue box and you can decorate it if you like. Put an elastic band around the middle and then pluck it. Did you hear that? So the hole here is really important for amplifying or making the sound louder. So you can test this by stuffing your tissue box with something soft, like tissues. So if I stuff those in there to block the hole a little bit, and then I try the elastic band again, have a listen to this. You should hear that it's very quiet. And so the sound is louder when we have an unstuffed box. It's a bit like when you're sick and we have too much earwax in our ears and our ears are stuffy, we can feel that they're blocked and the sound isn't always very clear. So the hole in the box is very important and the hole in a guitar is very important. Next, we're gonna make something called the bridge. And mine is a special bridge that I'll be using to change the pitch of the notes that I play. So take a piece of thick cardboard and measure six centimeters for a base. And then you're gonna to want to make a rectangle shape above that six centimeters and then a longer triangle shape on top of that. Let's do a triangle like this. You're going to cut this shape out. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to make a very thin rectangular slit into your tissue box, sort of about here. So maybe halfway between the edge of the hole and the edge of your tissue box. And you want that slit or that line to be the width or just over the width of your rectangle, so just over six centimeters. Now you might need an adult to help you do this because you're gonna need some adult scissors to get through this box. So be very careful. I'm gonna make a little notch in here and then we're gonna cut along that line. And what you would like is this to fit into here. So make sure it fits in and if it doesn't, you might need to make it a little bit wider and you might need to shorten your triangle a little bit. Next, what you're gonna do is make some notches in the top of your triangle. You want three notches that can hold your rubber band. So we're gonna cut out three notches like this. Okay, so there you go. Now you're gonna put this into here and these notches are gonna hold our elastic bands. So stretch them around. And the third one. So you can see that the elastic bands are stretched by different amounts or different tensions. The one who has the highest notch is stretched the most. This means that when I pluck them, they're going to make different vibrations at different frequencies, which means our ears will hear them as a different pitch. Did you hear that? They're totally different. Now, if you find if your bridge keeps flopping over or doesn't stay up, that's what the tape is for. You can tape it into place. But this one seems quite good. 
I wonder if the sound of this guitar can send something flying across the room. Ha! Huh. For this, we're going to need the help of my teeny weeny mini me, a good friend, Nano Nanogu. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do what happened in the movie. Nano Nano Girl, you stand here for me. You okay doing this experiment? Yeah, she says she's gonna be fine. Okay, so in the movie, they played a giant guitar and they flew across the room. Everybody, get ready to rock. Here we go. Nano Nano Girl, are you gonna fly? Ah, oh, nothing happened. She didn't move. It's way better in the movie. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun learning all about sound this week. And now I have my very own. But now I do have my own fanfare. And I'm pretty sure that's almost a superpower. Not sure that sound superpowers are actually for me, but doesn't matter because we're going to keep trying to find a superpower. Why? Because scientists never give up. I'd love to see your experiments, so please share them with us. And next week, we're going to be exploring a whole new superpower. Until then, let's rock. Bye.